Hello everybody, and today I will teach you how to use for loops in Carol. So, what if we wanted to put down a hundred tennis balls? Do you think we do this, put ball, put ball, put ball, put ball, put ball, and so on? Introducing the for loop. For loops let Carol repeat a section of code for a fixed number of times. Let me repeat that. And you have a for loop, you can repeat a section of code for a fixed number of times. So this is how you can construct a for loop. For parentheses var i equals zero semicolon i is less than count however n number of times you want to repeat it semicolon i plus plus parentheses then an opening bracket and you put your code inside it and a closed bracket Whew, that's a lot of stuff to remember but basically the only thing that's really important is the count part so you guys that shows how many times you want to execute your code so this places down 10 balls for var i equals 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus and then put ball so let's say we wanted carol to put down 10 balls so we would say for in parentheses var i equals zero semicolon i is less than 10 semicolon i plus plus then we would put brackets And we would put the code we wanted in here. So in this case, it's going to be put ball. Now we make it move so you can see how many balls. So this time let's try with a hundred. Or we can even try with a big number. And try not to do big numbers too much because it may make your browser crash. So for loops are very useful and you should use them a lot. And thank you for watching this video.